So, out here in Sydney today um, for uh, some customers. They're basically ambience come in and put in HFC, right? Uh, there's that flicker. Sorry about that, but all these um, apartments, right? There's a bunch of them. They've all got HFC now. So, what we're going to do, they want all these old IDFs removed. Right? Um, instead of just taking them off, chopping the cables and pushing them back on the wall, we're actually gonna stick, um, I'm gonna chisel out the wall and stick uh, a box in there. Now MBN's come in here, put in HFC, um, and they wanted me to, firstly, I was out here because they wanted to work out how to clean up all this. Because um, this, some of this is okay here, but other parts of this uh, building, it's just absolute schmozzle. Um, what MBN's done. So, you know, these are firewalls, no fireproofing going through from one wall to another. Anyway, um, just thought I'd show you these. Alright, so I pulled the IDFs off. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of them here, there's like six or seven of them to do. But we're just going to stick in these, and you've got these knockouts here. So, we're going to get a measurement of that, and I'm going to trace around where this is going to go, then I'm going to chisel out the wall and fit these in. And that way, if they ever need these copper cables again, um, they're here for them. Because originally they just wanted me to chop them off and throw them on the wall. But, um, after we had a bit of a discussion, this was the plan. So, just chisel the outline roughly. Um, on the render, if you just start going gangbusters, you just start splitting render everywhere. So I like to chisel around the outline first, and then I'll gently break the render away to get into the brick, and then it gives you a nice guide of what you're actually chopping into. All right, so now I've chiseled out the uh, around the hole there. You can see she's nice and level. All right. Um, now I can start attacking the bricks. All right. That's the uh, hole, finished hole there. And this slots back in there nicely. All right, and then the renderers will just render over this. And then these little things here where you put the screws, they're adjustable, so they'll adjust up and down. But that is pretty much level. All right, you can see the bubble there. She's level, baby. That's how the pros do it. And then what I like to do is just uh, put a little bit of a rock in there just to hold that in place. So when the renderers come, it's uh, all nice and tight in there so it's sitting flush on the wall. Yeah, and then they can just render over it. And then I'll come back once the render and the painting's done and I'll stick the covers on them. All done. So on these wall boxes, you can see here they've got this uh, little serrated edge. So you Sticks, sticks up just above the height of the boxes. So you make them the same height as a box and as you push it back in, these sort of hold it in place if you, if you do it nice and neat like that. Uh, if you make the hole too big, then obviously it's gonna be moving all over the place. But, um, so that's two down, six more to go. Here's another tip, here's a drop mat. Makes it nice and clean when you do stuff. Right, now I can just Fold this up and put it in my garbage bag. And then um, put this on the carpet. So that way when you remove the drop sheet, it's all nice and clean. Right? And then the process continues. So same again, I'm just gonna chisel around the outline for the box and take it out nice and cautiously. And uh, that's it. All right, so yeah, bye. And we have another one down. That one didn't ever need anything to fit in. It was a perfect fit. All right. Super level and fits in perfectly. So I just thought it interesting. I haven't seen these for a long time. This is how they used to join cables back in the day, the old telecom days. Um, there's like a grease in here and they just get these um, little ends and they solder 
or just twist them. I think that's got a dab of solder on it there. And they just pop these sheaths over the top just to maintain the cable. And so you, you know, nothing shorts out if these two touch together. Uh, that's how they used to do it. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and I'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.